Two diaphragms, connected by the diaphragm rod, work in unison to create the liquid motion of the pump. While one side is in suction mode, the other is in discharge mode. As a diaphragm moves inward, it creates suction. This suction motion causes the balls to move towards each other. As this happens, the top valve closes and the bottom valve opens. This allows liquid to enter the chamber through the bottom port. As a diaphragm moves outward, the discharge motion causes the balls to move away from each other. As this happens, the top valve opens and the bottom valve closes. This allows liquid to exit the chambers and discharge through the top port. This process constantly alternates between the two chambers to create a continuous cycle. The pump diaphragms are driven by pressurized air that is directed left and right by the movement of the main air valve. 